weekly analysis, we will start with GBPUSD. Why? Because this is a pair that has a lot of potential. You need to note that when you are coming here to learn something new, and I might say that this pair might buy, as long as you're not my student, I cannot come to keep updating you. You need to understand only my paid students that I keep updating on what is happening on the pairs that I give setups. But if you're watching here on YouTube and I say, for me, I think GBP is this a buy. If you happen to enter that buy, don't come to my WhatsApp to ask me, am I still holding? Do I need to come out? No. The reason and the purpose for me creating these lessons is to help you to be able to recognize when to trade, when to buy or to sell, when to exit the market, when to hold, when to avoid. That is the purpose of this channel. I want to help you to equip, equip you with the skill. So kindly, if you see me saying, this is a long-term sell, this is a long-term buy, this is a swing trade, you need to ask yourself, what is my part that I need to play? I need to pay attention on what the trade is doing. So yeah, let's do GBPUSD. If I happen to say GBPUSD is a buy, as long as you're not my student, you're not allowed or permitted to ask me, do I hold? If you enter, you enter at your own will. So let's do GBPUSD weekly analysis. So this is the candle that we got last uh, this week. This is the candle that we got this week and it has closed because I'm analyzing on Sunday. So as we're approaching the new week, for, for me, there's nothing much this candle is saying. Why? Because it didn't break uh, this support that we had. So as long as the market didn't, was not able to break, and you remember me saying that there's, a, there's a, an, an open of the week the, the low of the week and the high of the week. So this was the, the previous candle uh, that we had weekly. Now this one is the candle that closed this week. You can see the market even broke, broke our high. So the market opened, broke our high and never broke the low. So according to this candle, it is in the, in the zone. So as long as they never broke the low, they never broke the low of the previous week, we are not, uh, there's nothing much the weekly candle said. In fact, buyers had attempted to push this market up. So this candle, we cannot even say it's a shooting star. Why? Because shooting star happens at resistance mostly and at the peak of resistance. So this candle is just a rejection. It's just that, it's just that buyers attempted to go up and eventually they were rejected. So let's try to go to daily. And the reason why GBPSD, I will keep saying it will buy it because on the daily time frame we have one pattern. We have double bottom that is not on the, a double bottom that is not on the weekly. And I told you, if you want to understand what I mean, you need to go and revisit lesson 17. That's when I am I'm analyzing, I'm telling people what the best time frame to trade and I'm explaining everything about double bottoms on one time frame. So we have this double bottom and I will keep telling you GBPUSD is a buy. Even if it is sells, it means that they can sell for a while, but the long term, the market will even reach 1.31. The first take profit is 1.25. And you see, this is a long term trade, it's a swing trade. So you need to be careful when you're trading and again, if you decide to enter the trade, it's not for me to come and tell you to come out. Let's be fair here. I'm giving you free education so that you can be independent. So I can't give a trade and then you say, oh, why did you not tell us to come out? You need to know how to observe the chart and you need to know when to cancel the trade. So this is a possible double bottom. The reason why it's possible double bottom, it's because it has not yet hit or broke our half. So this double bottom is still valid. And I told you the reason why this double bottom is still valid is because the market has closed, has it broke resistance. So structure wise, there is nothing that has changed. Double bottom on daily, it is a buy. So the minute, and I say it, if this candle closed like this, we enter by that's when I told people to enter and the market went 59 pips. Guys, I always say, if you're not a swing trader, if you would hold up to 1.25, you, 
you can target 50 pips and that market reached 50 pips. I told people, if this candle closes, you enter by and the market reached uh, 59 pips. So it was for you to understand that I told you, I even said on that video, we have news coming on. We have news on pound, we have news on USD. So if you're trading, and even I said, for me, I'm not trading because of the news I had come out. So when I when I, I got just, I, I, I traded for one day, I came out while there were news. So according to the structure, the buy is still valid. Why? Because yes, there's a double bottom. Yes, the price is going to 1.25, but who said that it will break and go immediately? Nobody said like that. That is 254 pips. But if it goes this week, if this market goes this week to 1.25, it will be 445 pips. So can we get a reason for us to buy? Can we get a reason on GBPUSD for us to buy? That is the question you should ask ourselves. Already it is a buy. But can we get more information or more confluence that yes, GBPUSD is a buy? Because selling GBPUSD is a no-go zone. The only way we can sell GBPUSD is if they break this area. If they come now and break here, if they come and break here, guess what we'll be having? A cup and handle, an inverted cup and handle. So the minute they break there, for me, I will exit the trades I, have, I would have bought. So unless they break, there's no way I can see to say. So this market is still, for me, a bullish fund, uh, a bullish uh, trade. So there was this candle, and this was cost for the pound. The pound, uh, on Thursday, we had pound news. And then on Friday, nothing much happened. But on, on Thursday, we had pound news. And that's what the, the drop came by. So we have those news, and the market dropped like that. Now, let's analyze for our already we know the market is coming at to 1 1.25 we know it is coming there there is nothing to argue about it we know it is going there for those and that's why i say people who trade with bigger account this trade you enter 0001 001 the micro lot you can't be concerned oh uh let, let me let me let's see how many pips you have been taken down You'd be and taken down 141. That's $14. If you have a thousand dollar account and you're negative $14, there's no way it can give you sleepless night. But if you have $50 and you're taken and you had put zero zero point one, already you have blew that account. So people don't know how to, to, to do good risk management. People over risk a lot. Why would you over risk with a signal that someone has given you? You only over risk with your own signal. When someone gives you their own signal, you do the micro lot as you observe and as you learn. So for this channel, can we agree? If I give a signal, people don't over risk. Why? Because as a student, we are not looking much forward to make the money with the signal. We are looking much forward by learning. So comment down below. Say, I will be using the micro lot, 001 in any signal, and I will be only putting one position in the signals that you give so that you can allow yourself to learn and we can allow ourselves to know where we went wrong. So the drawdown is 141. So if you had 0 0.01, that is $14. That is something that should not make you have sleepless nights. So let's go to four hour. So you can see on even on four hour, this is what we have on four hour. Uh, the reason that this market uh, went down was this double top. I even told in my, my mentorship class WhatsApp group, I told them, yes, we have a buy, but because of the GBP news and the USD news on that and Friday, they can use this double top to take the market down. So let's wait. Let's go and check where they would be having our uh, a chance to give us either a double bottom or, or anything. So I was hoping the market would give us a double bottom there because you see there, the market had started to go up, but you can see we didn't have our CRB. So the CRB formed as I was waiting it to break, we enter, the market broke down and now it has activated a new double bottom. Can you see? So we have two double bottoms. We have a double bottom on the four hour and we still have a double bottom on the daily. Now pay attention. We need to, to realize is the double bottom on four hour 
available on the daily. Because if it is available, our entry, we will use WBB instead of CRB. So we have to check, is it available on the, is it available on the, on the daily? So let's, let's check if it's available on the daily. So this is a double bottom that will give you money. So is it available on the daily? So I will just flip back my chart, daily time frame. Can you see it's not there? We do not have that double bottom on the daily. So anything for our does, it's very, very powerful. So this double bottom is everything that we need for an entry on GBPUSD buy. Already for daily has told us to buy. And you can check very well. We also have RBS. If you're my student, you know what I mean when I say RBS. So RBS is a second confirmation that this double, double bottom will eventually give us an entry, the market will buy. So having that RBS is an added advantage to us. So we have a double bottom and we have a, a half, we have neckline. The only thing now we are waiting is what? We are waiting for the market to give us, we are waiting for the market to give us a, a CRB. So we have a green candle. If we have green, red, we put, you know, if you have green, 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 there is no resistance. We need where we have green followed by red to get a resistance so that we can put our line and we wait for the break. Now we have the neckline. And for me, I feel like this is the complete double bottom. Why? Because we have to get to 1.25. So they will have to use a pattern to reach us, to help us to get to 1.25. These people, the market makers, the bank, whoever control the market love working with patterns. So if this market completes, if it completes, goes to half TP1, neckline TP2, and continue with the distance, we want to see where the market is going. And you see, it is going up to 1.25. It is almost going there. So I want you to screenshot this so that, because I'm coming here, if it happens. So I'm telling you that this market, if it give us a CRB, it will go to the half. It, if it breaks, it will go to the neckline. If it breaks, it will finish that distance, guys. It is going to finish that distance. So what I'm telling you is that pay attention this week. Your eyes should be on GBPSD. We don't have an entry yet. Those who have entered with daily already, they, are, they have like one position of 001. Even if you want to enter right now, you can enter with one zero 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 point zero one. If you want to wait for confirmation, be my guest, wait for confirmation. So in short, what I'm trying to say, when you are listening, you, when you're watching weekly analysis video, they will always give you a hands up on what is happening uh, after, or after the, the, after when the week is starting. So GBPUSD, we are looking for buy. Why? Double bottom on daily exclusive it exclusive only on daily and a double bottom on four hour only on, on four hour so i'll be the minute we'll get an entry either on monday i will have to tell you guys and if you enter again if you trade if you enter any of the signals you are it's at your own risk so don't come i get a lot a lot of messages can i hold can i do this I, i'm in drawdown i'm making profit no if you're making profit, you can, yes, you can share your profits. You can share your screenshots with me. You're making profits when you have decided. If you're in drawdown, you close, you can tell me. For me, I've closed this trade because of this and this. Why did you? Why do you think it didn't go the way you had said? But never ask me, can I close? Those questions, they are only preserved for my, my followers, my ment my students. Thank you so much. I hope... All the best, by the way, on GBPUSD. Hope this week it won't disappoint us. If the GBPUSD by Friday, it hit our TP, guess how many pips we are looking? We are looking at 433 pips. For me, I believe we shall get all those pips once the entry confirms. And I'll be here waiting. Thank you, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Let me know, are you ready to trade GBPUSD with the information I am giving you? Rely with the information I'm giving you so that once there is something that is made to happen, you might be able to control your trade. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best.